Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, boot with your shells, dead slicers, special specials, and minions. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, today I want to go back to uh, Syria and or Iraq, or if you prefer the, the caliphate. And uh, we have this uh, this faux coalition uh, forming, and it just seems to be uh, uh, somewhat comical in some respects. So now we have uh, the uh, Arab nations, and now Saudi Arabia actually is confirmed as uh, having participated in airstrikes. So we have Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, and uh, Saudi Arabia, and Jordan, and uh, the U.S., of course. And uh, then we added the Netherlands and France. And now we have Denmark, uh, Belgium, and the U.K. And uh, we pretty much knew the U.K. would jump in there at some point. They're all, always uh, always jolly good with a new fight. And um, so there we have it. There's this new coalition. So France has now had their second airstrike, I understand. And uh, so now, uh, and I also understand that uh, Australia, I, I think uh, Australia is going to be voting soon to join in airstrikes. And uh, so the, the so-called uh, Five Eyes nations, uh, the UK, Australia, New Zealand, um, the US and Canada will probably all be uh, joining in at some point. So uh, heads up, Canada. I would imagine at some point you will be joining this vast uh, global coalition against ISIS. And uh, so, of course, the question that has to be asked is that the United States uh, obviously has ample forces and uh, can, can coordinate all these airstrikes. And so this is all symbolic, and um, I'm sure a lot of pressure was put on a lot of these countries uh, to contribute or participate, uh, even in a, uh, just sort of a, uh, an obligatory way. But who knows? I mean, as the United States uh, officials seem to indicate, uh, this could go on for years, and it seems like the Eurozone is preparing for this to go on for years. So um, who knows? Uh, we could see uh, nations continue to line up and per participate in this. Uh, so uh, I don't know. It'll be interesting to watch. Uh, who is next? So then let's get to the results. Um, there's been mixed results uh, with these airstrikes. Um, there's a lot of press that, uh, saying that the airstrikes have had no effectiveness, but we've also seen reports on the ground that say that, uh, in fact, they have. And, uh, and, and in fact, today, uh, apparently, uh, the border uh, town of uh, Rabia has been retaken uh, by the Kurds. And uh, so that uh, as a result of a combination of things, but uh, includes U.S. airstrikes. And uh, I also understand there's some relief going on, uh, airstrikes, U.S. airstrikes and, and Arab coalition airstrikes in the Kobani region uh, for some relief there uh, for this ISIS siege that's going on there. But uh, the, the most unfortunate thing that's kind of unfolded right now is uh, the, the fact that the United States has chosen to go after all opposition uh, except for whatever pockets of uh, free Syrian army uh, uh, forces are still there. I'm sure a lot of them will be switching back over to the free Syrian army after uh, there's been more airstrikes. But the unfortunate thing is now we have uh, confirmation of essentially what were rumors before that al Nusra front and uh, other al-Qaeda elements are reconciling with ISIS uh, for now, to resist uh, U.S. forces and Assad, uh, so an interesting turn of events. So, uh, so there we have it. Uh, and then we also have, of course, ISIS uh, is uh, had a major offensive uh, in Fallujah in the uh, Anbar province, and uh, so their uh, their uh, surge towards Baghdad from all sides uh, continues. And, uh, and now we're also hearing rumors of further ground troops. I saw one story that suggested that there was some, something like 13,000 U.S. troops heading to Iraq, to the Tikrit uh, uh, region, but um, we'll see about that. And then uh, there was also rumors that 600 Australian uh, troops were headed to uh, somewhere around Saudi Arabia or Qatar or uh, the United Arab Emirates uh, as a staging uh, area, so um, there could be a, a build-up for some um, ground troops. Certainly, the the public has been massaged enough that uh, they're just about ready for it, aren't they? So there we have it.
the coalition builds, uh, the war continues, um, and uh, I'm sure there'll be more fascinating events unfolding by the day. So we'll get that heavy, heavy coverage that uh, will uh, put me in direct competition with the likes of CNN. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one, too.